this vehicle. And we can tell people we can do the, actually this would do either side because all you got to do is move these two by fours to the other side. And then you could do the other side. And then you could just say you can do any, whatever years Georgie boys, you can do the delamination in the front and the back, you could make your own template. But I'm just going to use a piece of plywood, inject that glue and just whoop, pull this up and whoop. Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? We are trying to finish up the delamination project on the motor. I know. On the motor home. this in here so we can see what we're doing here okay guys hopefully that'll stay and you can uh, see the process that we're doing here um, we've spent quite a bit of money on this project no, I'm not. I have the glue was expensive, 300 bucks, and the siding was 300. Other than that, really, the wood, maybe 100. To me, that's a lot of money. Yeah, Any, anyhow, guys, um, while it is costing us a lot of labor, though. While it is costing us money for the materials and stuff, you know, hundreds of dollars, it's actually cheaper than if we were to take it to somebody. Oh God, somebody charge you probably eight, nine grand. So, um, hard, just this stuff. by doing this project ourselves, we are mm. saving a so shit ton of money. The glue should not be that expensive. Very critical. I mean, no, the glue, it costs them probably 50 bucks to manufacture the glue. So it should be 100 bucks max for the glue. I don't know why it's free. And the siding, that siding's so cheap. Uh -huh. If you look at it, it's paper thin. Yeah. That doesn't cost them more than probably 40 bucks to manufacture. I don't know why that's 300 bucks. Yeah, well. The wood was actually pretty cheap. Right now, the cost of wood is dirt cheap for some reason. So, and you can reuse this wood. You can use this to build stuff. I know. So I'm not. But I'll probably keep it just in case I have another delamination, which I think you will. On the other side? I don't know. This I can fix. It's just injecting the glue on both sides, I think. Just inject it and press against it. Okay. That side wasn't fixable. That was beyond. We had to take it apart because of what he did. I the know. guy before us. I know, that was horrible. Why? Well, he screwed it up worse. And that was a long process taking well, all that. I guess we're gluing it today. You want to? I got to take those screws out, so I need the... Uh, Oh, we got to make sure this is going to work or not. Oh. No, we already did it. Well, I got to pound that one down a little bit. You already trimmed off that one. Oh, well, I know. Well, I didn't show you the bottom stuff, but I can just pound it down. Okay. And then it'll fit. Okay. You pound this one down just a tiny bit. It makes it open. I gotta do. That'll for sure work. Put it down further. Nah, you don't want it to go too far. That front one was yeah. that yeah, front one was up. Down a quarter inch. Now I know it'll work. Trust me, I know it'll work. Okay. It might be too sloppy now. Do you need me to help you go get the Luan? <laughs> We're doing this. Are we sure it's not gonna rain? I, I gotta check the weather. And I don't even have the. Well, you call the guy. Air compressor's already out here. Air compressor's out, glue down here. Now you're doing this in two stages, so you have to have the acetone. 
I thought you were gonna check the check the weather cam. I can't while I'm recording. Where's your phone? Where's your phone? That's actually the easy part. That's actually the easy. Oh wait, we had to figure out the screws. That's what I want. Put the bottom of the loo in. Because you're going to have to probably drill holes into the model. Well, you're going to go through the Luan on the model. This is after you glue it because you're going to spray the glue or spray the glue, put the Luan on there, and then you're just going to go through the model and the lid. Well, the Luan's light enough. I could probably hold it myself. Actually, the glue will hold. But you got to make sure this is prepped. I know. I thought you are going to wipe it down. Shit here that's peeling off, but if it's just in a few spots, I don't worry about it. Did you want me to get a rag so we can wipe that surface I down? I don't want to do that. You don't want to wipe the surface no, down? Not the foam. Foam's one of the few surfaces you can't use acetone on. It'll melt. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but you want to get all this, anything that's loose, his whatever he used, and you want to make sure it's pretty flat. Like, you can tell... Like here, it might need to get sanded some more. And there is loose stuff. Uh, you know, why don't you put the window in? Yeah, it'll, it'll clamp it, I know. But we weren't going to put the window in until after all this. But I'm going to screw, so I'm screwing the Luan into the, these boards, so. Right. And they're going to have to be screwed in from the inside. Because no, once you get screw everything right in through the plywood, through the Luan, through everything, it's going to squeeze it. Yeah, but I, where the window is, yeah. you're going to screw it from the inside. Well, I know later, after it's all said and done. That's the last thing you do. You ain't doing that for days. You just need to get this. As long as there ain't like big sections of this coming off. Can't be having a, like a big section of the shit peeling off. As long as it's a small little section that the guy used for liquid nails. I don't know what he was using. Yeah, that's exactly what he used. That yeah, that's what it is. He, and this isn't so like he sanded this down, and so when I push in, but the Luan's gonna be here and here, and we're gonna screw everything in. So. I think it's actually going to work, but we have to screw into this metal frame all the way around. I know. So, it should actually work pretty well. But you got to make sure the surface is somewhat fresh. I don't even want to use acetone. That will actually melt this shit. Like somebody melted it here. I don't know, but that's not a very big spot. I wouldn't worry about trying to fill these. I think you got enough foam. And plus, now we got the structure here. That was probably good to get at. Yeah, we're good. I think we're right somewhere. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the weather. Let me go get my phone. Are you are you still recording? Yep. I'm going to pause it for a little bit, though.
Yeah, that's a little risky. That looks a little risky. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. Huh. I gotta stick these out. That I don't care about if it rains on my. Oh, I just saw raindrops. I thought they said no rain today. They lied to me. Seven percent chance. I told you we were. Excuse me. I was thinking, I, I just wanted to get this ready. We can do it Saturday, but I don't know if it's going to rain Saturday. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Let's see if I clean this up. Where's your phone? Oh, I got it charging. Oh. Yeah. This stuff's probably hard. I don't know. Stay bond. What is it called? Stay bond. Let me see the label. The most expensive stuff in the world. Let me see the label. Oh, I just felt rain, dude. I swear to God, I just felt rain. Well, I don't like having electric tools out there. Oh, I just felt it too. I'm not worried about the air compressor. All right, let's go get the tools inside. Well, at least the electric tool. Yeah. The plywood, I'm not worried about. Do you want me to take the air compressor in? No, nah, it's fine. Oh, I'm going to unplug. Maybe that saw. Isn't that thing waterproof? The speaker? Yeah. No. Wow, it's raining. They it's, said no rain in there. It's just going to be a couple sprinkles. But we can't have even sprinkles, so. What time is it? 10 o'clock? Yeah, I can still run here. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Um. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I don't care if this is. Oh, that's interesting. They did not. Ooh, you okay? They don't predict rain. Yeah, I got power in the corner there. Ooh, it's between that wood. Yeah. That I'm not worried about. That can get wet. I know, I'm just moving it over. Alright. The speaker can get wet? Yeah, just turn the power off. Get the battery. Power off. Let me grab my phone. You going in for a yep. minute? Yeah. I'm going in. All right, guys. We're going to go check on our new puppy, Bella. Um, now let's let this clear up at least a half of it. Yeah, we're going to give it time for this rain to clear up. So we had some stuff, some tree thingies clear out, and these grew in. Yay! That's for my butterflies. They grew in on their own. Yeah, go ahead and put it by the front porch because I gotta dig up my potatoes soon. I think it's like 130 some days before the potatoes are able to be taken out. And I planted them in March when we had warm weather for a while before the last frost. Uh. 
Look at these potatoes. Huh. Why did this go dark?